What's up everybody? So it's the beginning of a new year and that also means a new beginning for this channel. So on that note, now we have a new room to try out for the OnePlus Nord and that is this Android 12 based Proton OS. So this too is in a semi beta version which as you know isn't fully stable but it is like 90% there. Anyways before we get to all that, please make sure you tap on that subscribe button and press that bell icon if you haven't already. It's free and helps the channel out. And in case you wish to watch this video in Hindi language, here is a card to the BitTech Hindi channel. First up, this is also a beta version for now. So as usual, please don't expect any OT updates. And any new updates will have to be flashed manually on this one. Anyways, let me start off with the benchmark scores first. So on Geekbench, the revised scores as high as 593 in single core and 1779 in the multi-core score, which is decent enough on paper. And on similar note, on the end to do the device scores 3,99,000 approximately, which is a good score on paper and quite decent for a first version I guess. Starting off with the launcher and UI, which is again pure stock Android, but the launcher does seem to have better support for material U theming, especially in icons with third party apps, which as you can see is close to zero by Google on the Pixel phones. And this is one of the major complaints that I had with Android 12, which is now solved in this ROM. The lock screen and fingerprint scanner look similar to other Android 12 based rooms, but the fingerprint animation is a bit different on this one and overall feels nice. The fingerprint scanner here works just fine and is quite responsive, but there is flickering sometimes while unlocking the screen, which isn't a deal breaker, but something that should be fixed pretty soon. The launcher that we get here is as expected the pixel launcher and it looks clean and minimal and works very well on 90Hz refresh rate and all the Pixel series features work well, including the unlimited photos backup at storage saver quality from the Pixel phones, which does help in case you are short on storage. Also you get the Google Dialer and Contacts application, so don't expect the OnePlus Dialer and Contacts app to work on this one. But the TruePhone application works fine for call recording, and here is a card to that video just in case. Plus this ROM also passes safety net, which means that Google Pay works fine and other payment applications too. You obviously get all the stuff like material U theming and new themed icons and all that and it looks good but you can also tweak the colors and theming engine and their levels to a great extent like I did over here. So you can get this dark mode that I could attain just by tweaking a couple of settings. And it looks good and provides this dark and minimal look to the UI. This room just like some others also has separate Wi-Fi and data toggle tile which was also one of my complaints before but Google fixed it with December updates and so did the developers before it. Other than that, you might not see a dedicated customization center here, but it still has most of the required features like network speed indicators, edge lighting and even the battery styles to choose from. Also there are a bunch of phone options to choose from, approximately 40 and you can basically customize quite a bit here. You also have features like the 3 finger screenshot and other standard Android 12 features like one handed mode among other stuff. Apart from that, we do get the gaming mode from Pixel phones that has this inbuilt FPS counter to keep a track of your BGMI frames, which is handy and the gamer in you will appreciate this of course. Also there is no 90fps support in BGMI just in case you are wondering and the BGMI performance on smooth and extreme settings has been quite decent in my short time with it. I did not play much games honestly, but for around 30 minutes it did just fine with some frame drops as expected. At smooth and extreme settings it runs fine and rest it depends on how long you play the game for. For casual gamers like me it was a good experience overall. Apart from that the battery life was also comparable to other rooms that is around 6.5 to 7 hours of screen on time without gaming and moderate usage and around 6 hours with 30 minutes of gaming which is good enough. So this room does bring some smooth animations and better material you experience. Other than that, it's pretty much like other rooms that you have seen till now on this channel. It does stick to the basics quite well, so feel free to try it if you want to. Anyways, now let's see how you can install this one on your OnePlus Nord. So the process to install is very simple. Just follow me alright and don't miss out on any step. First up, you need an unlocked bootloader to install this one. And if you haven't done it till now, here is a card to that video. After that, you just have to download the zip file from the link in description area. And that contains your driver, 
image file as well as the rom zip file. So just right click and extract the zip file that you have downloaded and this has everything for you. In short, the biggest zip file here is your rom file and the image file is your recovery and you need the recovery file to install the rom, as simple as that. Also if any update comes for this rom in future, then just download the new zip file and paste it in this folder and follow rest of the zips from here. So once this step is done, it's now time to connect your device in fast food mode with your PC. So to do that, just turn off your device and after that, long press volume up, down and power key at the same time for like 4 to 5 seconds till you see this fast boot mode screen on your device. That means your device has booted to the fast boot mode. Now your device is ready to be flashed with the custom ROM. So just open the ROM folder that we downloaded in the first place and type cmd in the address bar and hit the enter button. So after that it will open the command prompt. Now in the command prompt, type fastboot space devices. So this will give you some random number and this is basically the serial number of your device. Which means that you have connected your device successfully to your PC. But if this command displays nothing, then you might have missed something above. Now in the command prompt, type fastboot space boot space recovery dot img and press the enter key. After this, your device will boot into this AEX recovery menu. Well done. Now just tap on the apply update option on your device and then click on apply from adb. And now for the last step, type adb space side load space and now drag and drop the zip file on your cmd and press the enter key. Or you can just type the name of file like adb space side load space name of the file and press the enter key. This will start installing the ROM on your device and it will be done in a few minutes. So leave it alone for a few minutes till it completes. And once it's done, disconnect your device, click on this back button on the top left corner and just select this format data or factory reset option and click on the factory reset option to basically format your internal storage. So once it's done, you are all set. Now tap on the back button again and click on this reboot system option. So you are all set now. Your device will reboot to Android 12 on this Proton ROM and I hope this was simple enough for you. Also if you have any doubts, I'll leave a link to the Telegram community in the description area and you can get your issues resolved from there. So this was a short way to flash the Android 12 based Proton OS ROM on your OnePlus Nord. And if you end up liking this video, make sure you press that like button and tap on that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.